Here I'm pointing to a groove that I used a rat tail file to cut into the sides of the charcoal chimney for clearance on the grill cross wire. We started out with a full chimney of coals and then I shook them down once they were all fully ignited. Here I have a timer set up for 30 seconds per side. Uh, your time's probably going to vary anywhere between 30 seconds and a minute. Here I'm referencing that cross wire on the grill with the bone on the cowboy steak, just so I have a reference point for doing my grill marks. Unlike what I did here, you probably ought to be holding that grill down when you flip these steaks over. Again here, I'm referencing that cross wire on the grill with the bone on the steak so I can get those grill marks lined up. The grill I'm using here came from the charcoal rack out of a Weber Smoky Joe grill. I have to give credit to the searing technique to Chef Alton Brown. He showed this on his cooking show a number of years ago. Again, here I'm pointing out the referencing that uh, bone in the steak to the to that center line wire and. It's about 30 degrees, that'll give you a nice diamond pattern on your grill marks. These flame ups you're seeing here are a direct result of how much fat's rendering off of your steak. So if you put a real fatty steak on there, you're gonna have a lot of flames coming up and you know it'll it'll affect the char on the outside of your steak. I'm guessing that the temperature inside that charcoal chimney is somewhere around 600 degrees. place 12 holes under the bottom of this 12 inch deep campo. going to use these mason jar rings just to get that pan up off the bottom of the oven.
when we placed the steak on the grill, it was at room temperature and dry and unseasoned. So now we're going to go ahead and season it with some coarse salt and some fresh ground black pepper. Here we're placing the probe into the thick part of the steak and uh, this is really the best method to know when it's at the right temperature. We're going to use a couple nickels here just to space that lid up so we don't crush this probe wire. What we want is just one layer of coals on the top of the lid, completely covering it. We are going to lose some heat through that gap in the lid caused by the coins for the probe wire. Here we have our alarm set at 125 degrees and as you can see the steak's already at 76 degrees now. Approximately 30 minutes later we're ready to remove the steak from the Dutch oven. We're using the pie pan for two reasons. One, we want the steak up off the bottom of the oven. And two, we want to retain those steak drippings so we can use that in a, in a mushroom gravy we're going to make. We've tinted the steak in aluminum foil. We're going to rest the steak under this aluminum foil for another 10 minutes before we serve. 